Hello everybody, thank you so very much for joining me. It is outstanding to have you. My name is Chris, otherwise known as Wolfie, and we are live once again with Massively Overpowered's OPTV, and it is time for some Throne in Liberty. Uh, but this time, uh, I'm not just doing a, a CMA live stream, uh, like I was actually initially planning to, believe it or not, uh, but that was before they decided to add their Halloween event. Uh, that started today, which actually is about maybe a half a day late, 12, 14 hours late. They, they were supposed to have gone out on the 24th, but there was some sort of uh, stability issue that was discovered, so that kind of delayed it into the wee hours of the early morning. But it's live now. Uh, it is functioning. Our MOP's Carlo has already been in there, and um, his, uh, <laughs> his, his first priority was to get his character some hot pants, I guess. <laughs> uh, you know, whatever. It's fine. But, um, I'm not here for the hot pants. I'm here for the candy, baby. Or at least as much of the uh, the Haunted Harvest event as I can get my little hands on. So uh, let's see what's going on. First off, though, I have to do a quick bit of housekeeping, and that involves my character um, uh, checking in on her on her amatoy. Uh, gotta see how the... Um... time is always busier at the post. You should hurry and pick a contract. I beg your pardon. I'm sorry there, random NPC. Uh, but yeah. First things first, I always got to do whenever I hop into the game. I, uh, I've got to uh, check to see how my amatoy are doing. Oh, and immediately, all sorts of uh, cute little decorations. Let's just give it a minute here. It's got a, this game likes to take a bit to load up. It's there we go. All right, here we are. So the haunted harvest is on. Uh, immediately in love with the music. Like, almost instantly. <laughs> the little... Look at this spooky little guy pulling the pumpkin along. I love that. That's great. <laughs> that little... I think it's called a theremin. The, the spooky music is just wonderful. And I also appreciate how the teleportation locations have a little spooky ghost on <laughs> I am immediately charmed just from the very jump. Now all of the game's uh, villages are de done up in this decor, um, so so this isn't like a a central uh, hub or anything like that. This is just uh, this is just the cute little spookies that are uh, happening everywhere. <laughs> it's a little ghosty. I love this, dude. This is so good. All right. So, yeah, let's... Uh, oh, yeah. Let's... All right. So, first things first. Let me let me uh, go back to the Amatoy house because I've got to see if any... Speaking of goodies, i got to see if there have been any goodies gathered by my little pets. Hello, Toaster Master and Teacup. Wonderful to both have you here. All right. So, what did I get? Alright, so we are level 11 now. That's nice. So I believe that opens... Alright. Not bad. A couple of a couple of materials. Not terrible. Alright, so we are level 11 now. I believe that gets me to the sandworm layer. So let's see. Don't see any affinities, so I'll just go ahead and use whatever little little guys I care to use. There we go. Alright. Homework done. Let's go ahead and uh, get back into the spooky town. So, yeah. Uh, so, the events going on are associated with, like, there's a uh, co-op dungeon that's specific to this event. Let's see. Hang on a second. So I believe there are there is a schedule here. Let's see. Oh, oh, look at that. Oh, that, that there's login rewards. Nice. So So candy corn is the uh, currency, I guess. Tastes like a dreamy mix of honey and vanilla used to open reward chests in the haunted labyrinth. Nice. Alright, sweet. 
That was not a, uh, that was, that was not a, a pun, not intentionally. Alright, so it's guiding me to the, the store, which of course it is. <laughs> but, um... Look at this little dude. Look at this. Look at this little guy. <laughs> That's adorable. And we have a a mohawk plushie. With <laughs> all right, sure, why not? Okay. Anyway, uh, so I think the uh, co-op dungeon. Okay, so the haunted labyrinth. That's the. The Ember Gourd is the name of the, of the boss. Okay. Combat power is 1600. Um, let me see. So what do we have for rewards here? Haunted Harvest Peddlers collect them as a deeper ritual. Let's see. They be used for cooking or exchange for special prizes from Dimension Pumpkin Exchange merchants. Okay. Alright. I can also have a Pumpkin Lord headpiece. We got a cute little pumpkin... It's a, uh, a morph. Let's see. A couple of morphs, actually. So we have this... And some uh, some goodies. All right. Okay. This actually has some uh, pretty good rewards. And I suspect uh, matchmaking should be pretty quick. Yeah, there it is. <laughs> so. All right. Let's see what this is all about. Now, this is obviously the first time I've done this. But the benefit is... This is the first time that this has been done by anybody. This this is an all new event. So or a recently released game, so I love it. I'm Jacko Tinger, a jack-o'-lantern artist. I'm working on my masterpiece. Ting. <laughs> what? <laughs> the scary monsters are hoarding all the best pumpkins. Ting. <laughs> Can you get me a pumpkin for my masterpiece, Ting? I will try my very best, little guy. That's not what I wanted to do. There we go, that was weird. There we go. Ow. What? Okay. I don't know what killed me just there, that was odd. Anyway. I think it might have lagged out a little bit, or I wasn't paying attention, which is also entirely possible. I immediately dig on the vibes of this particular dungeon. This is pretty good. I just gotta be careful. I don't know what it was that killed me the last time, but... Okay, so far so good. Okay, well, this guy is tanking me, so it's fine. There we go. All good. Whew. Okay. Our party seems to be a little bit split. There we go. I think we got some... Some enemies coming together.
I'm a little hyper focused, so I apologize for the uh, lack of discussion here. <laughs> Ooh, that was close. Okay, we have a whole lot of. Oh boy. Pumpkin wagon? I'll tell you how to use it. Right, well, we gotta kill these enemies first before we go into the pumpkin wagon there, little guy. So, uh, just give us a minute. There we go. Oh, hang on a second. Moderate Peril, 12 months of Prime subscription. Thank you so very much for that support, my friend. That's awesome to have you. I appreciate that. Uh, I always always call out uh, Prime subscriptions because, like, they just are... They can be used anywhere, but you decided to drop it on us here, so that's wonderful. Thank you so very much. Um, I am riding on a pumpkin carriage. Very trippy, I know, right? It's extremely trippy. Oh, that that okay so those guys explode that that hurt a lot that's fine I'll just drink this potion it's fine <laughs> Did not heal myself. One more. Perfect. Okay. Let's go. All right, and we're off. <laughs> Okay, this is, this is very, whoa. Oh. Okay, I appreciate that it actually has some, like, mechanics going on. Even if you're just traveling, like, that's pretty cool. Oh, goodness. getting a little behind. I this is very hard. Oh my goodness. All right. Hang on a second. Apologies. I need to focus. Okay, 
Good gravy. All right. I stood in the explosion again. Is it that time of year already? All right, here we go. What is happening? Heads up! Pumpkin incoming! Okay, I, I'm going to have to really, really pay attention here because... folks. Heads up. Incoming. I don't want that to happen. Why does it keep on doing that? Did they die or am I out of range or what? Ah, oh, I think they're out of range. Oh, they had to be broken out of prison. Okay. All right, I get it, I get it, I get it, I get it. Careful, don't lose your gourd. Heads up, pumpkin incoming. That's not what I wanted. Ah, the festival is still in full Oof. swing. Okay, well, that uh, that was ugly, but we got there. Ooh. Not immediately clear as to what it was that I needed to do on that one, but it's fine. We got through. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> All right. I am now. A oh, oh, wait a minute. Oh. Oh, hang on a minute. That's different. Okay. So there is a... Alright, I am turned into a little pumpkin guy. And... Oh... Oh, it's actually a little terrifying. I'm gonna be honest. This is kind of scary. Okay, let's go. Oh, and there's another one. Okay. <laughs> all right. Okay. All right, video game. I was not expecting all of these mechanics. Okay. Oh. Oh, okay. Somebody got through, and now we can just kind of travel. Yes. Okay. Yes, we can just roll. <laughs> little pumpkin guys just rolling around it's fine there we go okay next boss oh this is the final boss this is ember gourd okay this is it okay let's see what this is all about I'm gonna zoom out just to get as much of a field of view as I can So, our, somebody's asking what's with the light. I wonder if I can... So, okay, that's that's a buff. Ah, okay, so they didn't die over the course of their... Uh, the Over that corridor section, so they get a buff. Okay. Okay, alright. Here we go. Yes, we do.
I need to heal myself. Ugh. Okay. Oh, ow. Okay, all right. Ow. Well, I've died, so I cannot be resurrected. Uh, right. Probably should have stayed away from those ticking things, huh? It's fine. That's fine. We learn. Oh. You actually turn into little pumpkins and have to... That's interesting. Where's the death counter? It does not exist. I am tired of focusing on my failures. But at least I get to watch and learn, right? What is happening? Okay. Now they're insects? That is so interesting. What is happening? This not to death, just a temporary mortality break. Yeah, pretty much. Just a flesh wound. Yeah. I just turned into stone just for the thematics. That's exactly what's going on. <laughs> or be eaten. Well, it turns out that somebody was a better healer than me, so at least maybe they'll be able to survive. Very interesting boss. I'm gonna need to try this again and learn it. I'll teach you a lesson. So the boss stoned you. Nah, yeah, pretty much. Yeah, totally. Tombstone me, to be specific. Oh, you can knock those backwards. Interesting. Okay. So those ticking things can actually be knocked away. And I assume that's to, like, break the shield, probably? Okay, okay. We're learning. Be nice if I was to be able to join the fight, but... As you can see, I am walled off. I cannot join in, so... Well, at least we can watch with without everything being all in black and white, I guess. So that's that's something, right? Can you spot the noob? There she is. <laughs> I wonder if they're gonna make they should make they could make it. So the objective is to get close. Get in there as a bu oh that's interesting, okay. So you get in there in order to change back from a buggy. Okay, that's pretty cool. I think they just might make it, though. But, uh, mechanically speaking, this is interesting. This is a very interesting boss. Okay, there are the bombs, and they have to... Okay, yeah, yeah, I see what's going on now.
Yeah, they're gonna make it. Awesome. Okay, well, we can learn for the next time we try this. This is a really cool boss fight, though, I have to say. This is very interesting. As usual, the boss has too much health. Yeah, really? <laughs> All right, well, success by proxy. I... I was there. Now I can make my jack o' lantern masterpiece. Ting. Please visit my art show later. Ting. <laughs> All right. Well, we tried. All right. So now I need to figure out where I can turn in this. Thing I got. Well, first of all, let's see what we got here. Alright, so... Five of these. Oh, five of these. That's cool. Alright. Yeah, let's go ahead and see what we get out of that. Hey, nice. Alright. Those are actually extremely useful materials. So that's pretty good. Let's see. We got that. Dimension Pumpkin. That could be used for cooking or exchange for special prizes from Dimension Pumpkin Exchange Merchants. Where would I find one of those, exactly? Hmm. Let's see. So they could be used to cre cre create a Choco Spider cookie. <laughs> And a spooky pumpkin pie. Not just any pumpkin pie. A spooky one. <laughs> we don't want to know. We don't want none of those non-spooky pumpkin pies here. No, heck no. We want the spooky pie. I work as a contract manager, but I have the heart of an adventurer since I work with the resistance. Are you okay. here to ask about something precious you have lost? Uh, I'm trying to find out where I can spend these things. Chocolate spider, yes. Chocolate spider. Spider donut. We had some spider donuts earlier today. Over here, the best in all they were they were edible. No, <laughs> no, they were fine. It was it was you know, I wasn't expecting anything really remarkable. It's just a cute little treat, you know. Little, little Halloween treat from around. Yeah, exactly. Okay, um, I wonder, there are a lot of people crowded around this contract, guys, so are there... No, it doesn't look like there's any specifically seasonal contracts. Okay, just had to check. Alright, I need to find, you know what, I bet... I bet I know where there might be one of these vendors. Let's, uh, let's go over to Castleton, which is like the first main city. Perhaps we can find the vendor that we're looking for there. And of course, this city is also dressed up. Oh my goodness, that's great! <laughs> Look at that big spooky ghost! That's cool. <laughs> Outstanding. Oh, there we go. There's a pumpkin exchange merchant. Okay. That wagon, the books. I love it. Can you take it? Borrow it? I know, right? I would be okay with that. Okay, let's see what we can get from this person here. Oh, we can straight up buy the jack-o'-lantern Izzy or the headpiece. That's cool. Or some other important goodies. This is actually not bad. I've only got two of these guys, though, so... Alright. Okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Alright. So there's a chance to get them from the dungeon, but you can also get them from like the uh, from this vendor. That's cool. I like that. Oh, 
Well, you know what? I should change into... Oop. There we go. Take no, that's not what I need. You head off on your adventure. I'm sure you'll find something you need. It's a little wolf guy. You want to use the not quite seasonally appropriate, but, you know, we'll take it. Actually, you know what? Hang on. I think I might have a better morph. Take a look at the contract. Yeah, you know what? I'll go ahead and turn into that guy. There we go. There we go. Now I'm in a costume. <laughs> After a fashion. Alright, anyway, let's see if I can do this. Uh, actually, let me see. What else is there I can get done? Is this, I think I remember I'm mentioning that there is some trick-or-treating to be had. Give me a second here. Let me... Uh, it's an impressive beard, isn't it? I know, I love it. Very impressive beard. Okay, so let's see. Okay, greet familiar friends in unique costumes around each village to receive candy corn. Search for characters with hidden haunted harvest forms at night, or morph into a playful ghost to identify them during the day for additional candy corn. Okay. Alright, so yeah, there is some like little trick or treating to be had around here. So I wonder if <laughs> sorry. I'm giggling at the uh, at the run cycle of this goblin. Toy ho friend. If you need a weapon he can count on you. gloves, shoes. Actually, you know what? I figure maybe. Have you brought enough materials? Wonder if the person I need to visit here I can't believe the ghastly is tales were in. True. Can I even get there? Any... Or can I access that building anymore? I wonder. Hmm. No, it doesn't look like I can. That's a shame. Hmm. Oh, no, this isn't the right building anyway. Hang on a second. It's bird time. It's time to bird up. That was close. I can't believe the ghastly tales were Take true. Take a gander before you head off on your adventure. I'm sure you'll find something. Yeah, so this is the cooking oven. Actually, what sort of benefits do I get from that? From the spooky cookie? Let's see. Oh, some bonuses to like. Okay, neat. So I need chocolate and a dimension pumpkin, or some rye and a dimension pumpkin. Okay, that's actually really not too bad for cooking recipes. Usually, a lot of the materials for cooking seem to be kind of uh, rare, I'll say, or challenging to get. Okay, yeah, this building is indeed locked up to me. I was kind of, I think. Oh, maybe not. Yep. All right. All right. Well, can't go in there anymore. All right. Let's see. I think I saw in that village that I was at. Let's see. Hang on a minute. It was Vienta, I believe it was. No, it wasn't Vienta. Well, actually, let's go here and see if there is somebody who I can, like, get candy corn from. Because I want to see what that's all about, right? I was hoping that a goblin butcher would have an apron and a string of sausages. <laughs> that would be amazing if that was the case. Yeah, this t the towns are really lovely, honestly. It that is the sort of stuff that would make people want to play a game. I get that. I totally understand. Also, the towns are extremely are lively. Yet? No, I am not in a guild yet. And also, you know, I can transform into a bird, so that's a thing. 
These are the important pieces of information that are required. Okay. There's a place up this way. And there's like an NPC that I was interacting Looking with during the story that maybe I can get candy corn from. Possibly. Paola. There she is. Hello. Hmm. Let me see. Let's see. Nope. Guess not. I wonder then. Is there... Oh, I have some mail. Hang on a second. Let me collect the goodies. What have we got here? Totally didn't forget to send these. Right, sure you didn't. <laughs> Alright. Um... Doesn't look like. Oh, there's the pumpkin. I. Okay, cool. So, yeah, you can straight up just transform into a little rolling pumpkin just for the heck of it. Hmm. Because it did mention something in, like, let's see. Search for characters with hidden har harvest forms at night or morph into a playful ghost to identify them in the day. Okay. See, I don't know how you do that. Oh, and there's also gummy fish you can find, too. You know what? That, I know, is something that I can do. And, and I can do it here, even. So, I wonder if I can... F Let's see if we can't catch some gummy fish real quick. I am, of course, a crow flight or glide morph because that's totally seasonally appropriate if you ask me. Then again, I also selected this morph simply because I like crows. <laughs> this is uh, something I had equipped before I uh, I uh, knew that this was a thing. Alright. Alright, let's see if we can cast some uh, some, uh, some, some gummy fish. Here we go. The idea is to outlast the fish, but not snap your line. Yep. Ah, oh, little anchovy. Sorry. Flying as a cat on a broom. That see, that would be great if I was if I was able to do that. That'd be wonderful. Unfortunately, that is not a thing. But um, from your lips to the developer's ears, teacup, <laughs> that would be amazing. Ooh, we got a fighter on our hands here. Okay. Uh, another anchovy. All right. Active fishing, better than click to caster loot. Yes, absolutely. It's not the most active fishing, like... But, I mean, it's active enough. It's It doesn't, like, leave you just bored. So, you know, you have to, like, pay attention. Which I appreciate, honestly. Come on. Get here, you... Ah. Hmm. Yeah, it says I can convince, catch event-only fish throughout the throughout Silesium. So, huh? Maybe they only come out at night. I'll try one more cast out and see what happens, and then we'll give the uh, that dungeon another run. Now that I'm going in there with some knowledge, I think maybe I can do a little better. Oh, there we go. I think I just saw somebody pulling a pulling a gummy fish. Oh, 
Ah, oh, darn it. Uh, that doesn't count. <laughs> Playground rolls, baby. Come on, come on. Ah, another anchovy. Ah. Darn it. Give me the gummy fish. <laughs> okay. Alright, one more one more attempt at the uh I gotta put my put away uh huck away, don't I? There we go. Alright, let's do one more attempt at that dungeon. Okay, here we go. Here's hoping this works out. All right, here we go. Can you help me, Ting? I'm Jacko Tinger, a jack-o'-lantern artist. I'm working on my masterpiece, Ting. But scary monsters are hoarding all the best pumpkins, Ting. This guy is absolutely running pal mel past everything. What is happening? All right. Okay. Let's see if we can maybe... Ooh. This guy is, this party is clearly in the rush as far as fast as possible category. All right, that's fine. It's fine, this is fine. <laughs> Maybe I'll resurrect near the party. There we go. Okay. So, uh, let's see. Uh, I thought I was blocking. All right. Oh, that guy just... That... What is happening? What the heck just happened to my character? That was weird. I actually, I genuinely did not tell them to move that way. All right, well, okay, that's, this is a weird one. <laughs> to stay away from those guys because they blow up what
There we go. Stay next to the healer. He'll help you. Explody boy. I forgot it. Yikes. This is a little more chaotic than the last one, that's for sure. <laughs> I push that dude out of my uh that's fine. Ugh, ow. Sheesh. Evening. Hey DV Fish, how are you? Uh gotta say, this this run is very chaotic. And I missed the train. Okay. That's cool. <laughs> Alright, that's fine. I'll just... Bye! Have fun! Alright, back to the resurrection circle because that was activated. There we go. Alright, alright, I'm back with the team. Uh, very loose use of the term, I'm gonna be very honest with you. This dude just keeps on running away from everybody. This is, abs this is absurd. I'm gonna be real, man. This is already really hard to do. It's already like hurting cats. Okay, first boss. Is it that time of year already? I'm getting behind. this target arg oh, I'm in I'm in pumpkin jail 
Somebody bake me out of pumpkin jail, please. Thank you. Okay, all right. Oy. That was something else. All right. Okay, now we know what to do here. So we're coming at this with a bit more foreknowledge. Oh, that guy ran out too soon. Oh, no. Whoop, what? No, 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 no. Nugget. Okay. <laughs> I was a little, little, uh, little pre premeditated there, or a little premature, I should say. Oh no! I was there, man. Come on! Ah, oh, I was almost there. Darn it! It's fine. I'll just wait until I can turn into a pumpkin again. Wait, what? Oh, I, I, I just touched it. Okay. Whoops. Lightly grazed the evil pumpkin. Okay. Somebody got through, so now everybody can get through. Okay. Darn it. I still feel like I was robbed in that first one, though, honestly. That that was, uh, that was rude. That was very, very rude. Okay. No longer pumpkins. Time for the final boss. Okay, here we go. Is this person at? Oh, goodness gracious. Oh, wait. I gotta be pumpkin. I had to pumpkin. I had to pumpkin. I am not pumpkin. Let me pumpkin. There we go. I didn't use it quite. Uh oh. Yep, I knew I was not. I didn't get close enough. Ah, all right.
Okay, so I actually could get in there uh, after death. Interesting. I did not know that. That was that's new to me. Oop. That's definitely a unique thing to this dungeon. That is not a thing that otherwise happens in other dungeons, at least unless I'm missing something. Like that. Crap. We're all burning, so I need to... Ugh, this... Pumpkin time. No, let me pumpkin. Oh, I want a pumpkin. Okay. Oh goodness. Ooh. I need a pumpkin. <laughs> I want a pumpkin. Something you can only say in a panic in this game, and it actually makes some measure of sense. Time for bugs. No, you don't got me. Yes, there we go. Okay, now we're getting it. Now we're getting it. Oh crap, I got hit. Ugh. Okay, okay, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. There is so much going on. I don't understand how I keep on getting hit by that. Oh, 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 that person's dead. Darn. I am pumpkin now. Cool. Oh, I believe this. This guy's done. Yeah. Bug time. Gotcha. Ah, crap. Gotcha. What? What? I, I, I. Gotcha. Oh wait, I've absolutely failed the hell out of this. I'm dead. Yep.
Alright, we almost got him. Ooh, this thing is a HP sponge and a half, dude. Oh my god. Crap. Crap. Okay. Whew. All right. I lucked out. At least I learned the dance step, so that's something. Alright. Time for this thing again. Alright, here we go. Alright, there we go. That went extremely good. Go down, you annoying little thing. Woof. All right, there we go. Man, oh man. Thanks, Tall Tinger. Now I can make my jack o' lantern masterpiece. Ting. <laughs> Ting, indeed. Please visit my art show later. Ting. Oh, I don't have enough candy corn. Ah, well, no goodies for me then. Oh well. At least I learned how to get the heck through this dungeon, so that's something. <laughs> that is a toughie. That is surprisingly tough. That is a very mechanically dense uh, instance, I have to say. Like, that's that's rough. It's good. It's a good challenge, though, I will admit. that's I don't dislike how challenging that is. I kind of wish that I wasn't, like, restricted to how many times I could, like, Going there to get rewards though. That's that's a bit annoying. But uh you know, it is what it is. This this game does have its weird little walls that it likes to throw up in the way, which uh don't always agree with, but uh then again I kind of assume that it's trying to battle against against bots and whatnot, so Rotten Apple spoils the bunch, right? Darn it. <laughs> well, anyway, I think that's going to be a wrap for this stream. But thank you so very much, everybody, for joining me. We hope you had a good time. Uh, Got to say, this one, this is for their first event. It's not bad, uh, but it does need a little bit of work. But anyway, we have a lot more streams coming through the rest of the week, like usual. Through the, week, through the west, rest of the week. Wow. Whew. We have more stream, streams coming, is what I'm trying to say. <laughs> Later on tonight at 8 p.m. Eastern, MJ is going to be live with a fun Friday stream. On Saturday, October 26th at 4 p.m. Eastern, MJ is live with another Sandbox Saturday. And then on Sunday, October 27th at 2 p.m. Eastern, I will be back in Final Fantasy XIV. So we hope you tune in for all of that. Thank you so much for tuning in today. And as always, thank you to everybody for all of the support you provide to Massively Overpowered. Whether you're watching our streams live or on demand, reading what we had to write on the website, or if you're doing generous things like donating bits to the channel, subscribing to the channel, whitelisting the ads on the site, or if you're one of our amazing Patreon supporters. No matter what you do, top to bottom, you are the fuel that keeps massively OP going. We will see you next time. We'll see you later tonight, actually. Until then, have a great rest of your day. Bye!